Welcome to the Exit Ticket Response Document tutorial. For students, you know that uh, if you're working on a computer, you'll be looking at a screen that looks like this. If you're on the iPad, you will not see what's here on the right hand side, which are my comments. In order to see my comments, you'll have to click on the highlight and above that will pop up a window that says view comments and then you'll be able to see my comments. But if you're on a computer, you'll be able to see them on the right hand side. Let's start with the title. I will only accept work if it is placed in this document. Makes things much easier. All of my comments and feedback are in the same place and you don't have to submit to multiple areas. It is called S2, Exit Ticket Responses, your first and last name, and then the number one. So you remember that that's the right one to use. Haha. -ha. <laughs> um, at the top, I give you some really basic instructions, but you know, I might change them as we go, and I'll let you know in the digital agenda if that's the case. I'll read the directions to you. Type your responses at the top of the page for every new Friday exit ticket. When you get, when I give you feedback and the comments are directly on the page, adjust your answers and email me to let me know that you have finished. All of your exit ticket responses must go into the, this Google Doc from now on. Do not share new files with me unless I ask you to do so. Questions should be placed in the reply of comments or on our Google Hangout, where you can click there to open. Now, how you will set up your page is every new answer goes at the top. You don't have to add a new page. You don't have to do any of that. Just type at the top. I like the way that this student, I use this, uh, copied this from another student. I like how they put the date at the top, the question that they're answering, and then their response at the bottom. Depending on the response, that's how long your paragraph should be. I'll type in there any comments that I have for adjustments or changes. Remember the adjustments or changes are so that you meet the standard. Make sure that you follow my feedback and change your answers. If you don't change it on this on one exit ticket, then apply them to the next one and show me that you learned from my feedback. Um, that's pretty much so what you can do. Now there's some other things that you might be able to do as well. So let's say you're taking notes by hand and you would like to share those notes with me. You can go up here and click insert image, upload from your computer. You can also take, uh, do this from your iPad if you upload your images to your Google Drive. And let's say you want to add some notes. Okay, and you go, you find the notes. And maybe this is just an image and I can just go ahead and place that in there. And then I can see your notes, but this of course would be a picture that you took or of your notes, or maybe it's a, an image you'd like to share with me, whatever it might be, but you can add it to this file. Just make sure that whatever exit ticket is due on Friday goes above that all at the top. So let's say you're gonna type your next exit ticket and it's due, let's say, on, I'm gonna turn off the highlights there, 3.30.20. You don't even need to put the 20 is fine, but you know, if you want to. And then the question you would type here, whatever the question is. And then of course, underneath that, make sure you don't have the underline highlighted for that. And you start typing, make sure it's left justified and you just type your response here. Um, and everything will just move down. If there are any questions, send them through the Google Hangout. Thank you. Have a good day.